In this video we're going to first solve for y and then graph the linear equation. So we'll do examples 5, 6, and 7. So with example 5, the first thing we have to do is solve for y. What does that mean? You might recall you have got to get y by itself on one side of the equation. So the goal is to have an equation that looks like this. y equals something. Okay, and once you have that, you can make an input-output table with x and y. You can plug in values for x, and you can calculate values for y, and then you can plot it on the graph and draw a line through it. So the first step is to solve for y. So press pause and solve for y in this equation. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So to solve for y, we look at what's going on in the equation. y is being multiplied by 2 and then 2x is being added on. So if you think of it, the first thing being done to y it has been multiplied by 2, then 2x is being added. So to undo that, we start with the last operation, the adding 2x. So we subtract 2x from both sides to begin with. Okay. Now on the left hand side of the equation, we have 2x minus 2x, which is 0 and then we have plus 2y. So we have 2y on the left of the equation, right? Equals, and on the right hand side of the equation now we have negative 6 minus 2x. Okay? Now, 2y equals negative 6 minus 2x. How do we get y by itself? So can you do that part and then check on the video? So what you've got to do is divide by 2, right? Because y has been multiplied by 2. But on the right hand side you must divide each individual term by 2 also. And you will get y equals negative 6 over 2, negative 3, and negative 2x over 2 is minus 1x, or minus x, same thing, minus 1x, let's say, right? Now, why did we have to divide everything by 2? I'll just remind you of that. If you had um, let's say two, two um, coconuts cost the same as um, two apples plus four bananas, right? If two coconuts were the same value as two apples and four bananas, what would the value of one coconut be? Write down the answer. One coconut would be the same value as one apple plus what? Four bananas? Or two bananas? What do you think? Does that make sense? If, if two coconuts cost the same as two apples and four bananas, look, if I divide each individual term by two, I get the correct answer because that would mean, therefore, one coconut would be the same value as one apple plus two bananas, right? Does that make sense? Or, for example, if three coconuts cost the same thing as um, uh, three marbles plus um, six uh, pears plus um, plus uh, whatever ba -ba 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 -ba. let's say twelve cents okay if, if, if the price of three coconuts is the same as three marbles six pears and twelve cents altogether then what would the price of one coconut be Right? Well, it'd be a third of everything. It'd be a third of all of that, right? Be a third of that would be one marble, and then a third of that would be two uh, pairs and four cents, wouldn't it? Does that make sense? So that's why we divide each term by three. So if I want to get C by itself, I divide by three here, and it gives me one C. Uh, but I must divide each individual term on the other side of the equation by three also to get one mar marble, two pairs and four cents altogether, right? Anyway, back to this, we have y equals negative 3 minus 1x. All we need to do now is make an input output table and plot it. So I can do this, and by the way, let's just write it like this for fun as well, y equals negative 3 minus x, okay? You could write it that way. You could also, and this is correct, isn't it, to write it y equals negative x minus 3. Why are these the same? These are the same. Why? 
because we have a negative 3 here and we have a negative x here. It's the same thing. So you can write it any of these ways. That's fine, right? But in any case, I'll just do it this way and I'll make a little table and I'll plug in values of x and plot the line, right? So I'll just plug in, let's say, 0, 1, 2 and I'll get negative 3 minus 0, negative 3 minus 1 and negative 3 minus 2. Okay, so in for x I'll plug in 0, 1, 2 and that'll calculate out to be what? Press pause, calculate the points and plot them on the line, then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So I get 0, negative 3, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 5, right? 0, negative 3, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 5. And I'll join the points up and that's the line. Okay, and that's the answer, right? Now, you could label the line either way because the line originally was 2x plus 2y equals 6, so you could label it that way, or you could also label it y equals negative 3 minus x. Both are equivalent. They're actually the same thing. It's just that this is a simplified version of the equation. This is the equation kind of simplified, isn't it? Because it's y by itself. So let's try example 6. Can you graph that line? What do we do first? On these examples, the first thing we're going to do is solve for y. First step is always going to be solve for y. So we have to get the y value by itself. So press pause and solve for y and then check the video to see if you get the same answer as me, right? Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So there's a couple of ways of getting y by itself. I'll do both ways just so you see them. You just need one way, obviously, and just do whichever way you like the best. But uh, we have basically negative y, which is almost like negative a negative on a y, and then we have an x here. This is kind of like negative 1 times y, right? And by the way, subtraction is the same as plus negative. So you could think of this as x plus negative 1 times y. And to get y by itself, we need to undo the negative 1 times y, and then we need to undo the plus x. So to undo adding x, we subtract x. So basically, begin by subtracting x from both sides, and you don't just have 1y on the left, you have negative 1y, or negative y, equals negative 5 minus x. Now what do we do? So what do you do to solve for y at this point? y has been, and by the way, you might have, you know, negative y equals negative 5 minus x. That's the same thing, isn't it? So what you got to think is y is being multiplied by negative 1, okay? So to get y by itself, we divide by negative 1 and divide each individual term by negative 1 in the entire equation. So negative 1y over negative 1 gives positive 1y or positive y. And negative 5 over negative 1, what does that make? Negative over negative gives you a positive 5, right? And negative x over negative 1, what does that give? Well that's like negative 1x over negative 1, isn't it? And negative over negative is positive. So positive 1x, or positive x, right? So we basically have y equals 5 plus x, or you could write y equals x plus 5. Anyway, if you get either of these, you're correct, and then we just graph the line. So press pause and graph the line. Okay, I'm going to do it now. hope you've tried it. So if I graph the line, I'll just plug in some numbers for x, 0, 1, 2, and I'll get 0 plus 5, 1 plus 5, 2 plus 5. So I get 5, 6, 7, so 0, 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, and that's the line there. And it's y equals x plus 5, okay? So one last example. Oh, by the way, before I leave this, I just want to show you that other way of of solving it. So we started with x minus y equals negative 5. Now at the, to get y in its own, we could also add y to both sides. Have you ever seen that? 
and negative y plus y is zero so on the left we have x and on the right hand side of the equation we have negative five plus y or you know y minus five whatever and then we add five to both sides and we get x plus five equals y which of course is y equals x plus five same thing right same thing is here y equals x plus five right so last example example 7. So this example, example 7, 4x minus 3y equals 6. First step is solve for y. Press pause and solve that equation for y. I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we got to subtract 4x from both sides. So for, subtract 4x. Now we're left with not just 3y but negative 3y equals 6 minus 4x and to get y on its own we need to divide by negative 3. Divide each term by ne negative 3. Negative over negative. Positive 3 over 3 is 1 so it's like 1y or y equals positive over negative is negative. 6 over 3 is 2. Negative over negative makes positive and it's 4x over 3 or 4 over 3 times x. Okay. So now we have an equation with a fraction and we've got to solve that. Now just so you know there's another way of doing this we could have added 3y to both sides and I'm sure some of you guys like to do that that's okay and in which case you'll get 4x equals 6 plus 3y or 3y plus 6 and then subtract 6 from both sides and we get 4x minus 6 equals 3y and then divide everything by 3 and we get 4 over 3x minus 2 equals y or y equals f y equals 4 thirds x minus 2 which is the same thing you know so this case we started by adding 3y in the other case we started by subtracting 4x but because we divide by a negative 3 you know, we didn't make a mistake, then of course we get the same answer. Negative 2 plus 4 thirds x or 4 thirds x minus 2, same thing, right? So I guess you could write it like that because we're kind of used to doing it like that. 4 thirds x minus 2. Well, it doesn't really matter. So press pause and graph this one. Press pause and do it, then I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it now. So the trick is let's plug in some numbers and we could plug in 0 and we could plug in 1 but let's start with 0 anyway and we get 4 over 3 times 0 minus 2 right which is of course just 0 minus 2 which is negative 2 and I could plug in 1 but that has me dealing with fractions again so I might want to plug in a multiple of 3 because look I have a 3 whoops I have a 3 on the bottom of the fraction there right so I'm gonna plug in let's say 3 and maybe even 6 just for fun okay so if I plug in 3 I'll get 4 thirds times 3 minus 2 and 4 over 3 times 3 over 1 gives me 12 over 3 or the threes cross cancel and I get 4 whichever way you want to see it that's 4 minus 2 when you calculate it out which gives me 2 and I or I could have 4 over 3 times 6 minus 2 which is 24 over 3 whoops sorry 24 over 3 which is 8 right let me just write it out that way why not 24 over 3 minus 2 which is 8 minus 2 which works out to be 6 right so if you plug in multiples of 3 it works out nicely and you get these points so we've got 0 negative 2 3 2 uh, 6 6 and then join the points together and that is y equals 4 over 3x minus 2, right?